Hello everyone, welcome to this Facebook Live. It's called Ask Best Video Column, where you can come on and ask any question uh, or private message me and I can respond to it anonymously. My name is Bess McCarty and I'm a coach for business and life. My niche is especially network marketers, helping them have breakthroughs and reach the life of their dreams. But it also applies to all of life. People ask me questions of all types, such as network marketing, career, job, health, weight loss, relationships, communication, um, uh, spiritual fulfillment even. Welcome, Luya. Welcome. Good to see you. And if y'all are watching the replay, would you type in replay because I'd like to thank you for watching. So this is a, a video column. I'm here every Saturday and Sunday at noon Eastern Time, the Ask Best show on the weekends. And welcome, Carol. How are you? My friend, Carol. Um, a, lot of, a lot of you know the things I'm about to speak about today, but um, today the topic is, are you afraid of a breakthrough? Because I found a lot of people are. <laughs> Me, people I'm coaching, we all have some resistance to our next level, right? So I'm going to deal with that today. Um, first of all, my message to everyone watching is that you matter. I hear you. I'll respond. You're bigger than any problem before you. The solution is always within reach. And you don't have to do it alone. I'll help. And after I cover the topic today, I will we'll, um, um, talk about the or share with you the four-step method called Real Conversations. It's a self-help method that uh, I would like to teach you so that you can walk yourself from problem to solution in minutes. It really works. I've been teaching this for 30 years. Um, by the way, I'm a body-mind therapist for over 30 years, holistic health practitioner, coach, counselor, all of these, these hats that I wear. Um, so, welcome, Luya and um, Ibrahim. Good morning, everybody. I do love if you say hello or good morning, because otherwise I might not know you're there. And if anyone has a question of any, any of these areas um, right now, you can go ahead and type that in. If you want to be anonymous, remember that you can always message me, private message me on Facebook, uh, ideally. And uh, let me know that you want that, that question to be anonymous. I don't say I have the answers, but I will respond to it. And I invite each of you to contribute your tips, insights along alongside me here. We can be, can be like a mastermind. And um, love you in South Africa. Thank you. Thank you. So you must know Shamala, do you, Luya? Um, Shamala, I do, is a good friend, student, um, colleague. <laughs> who is always on a lot of these shows. So, yes, people from all over the world, very glad to have you all. And so the topic for today, yes, I brought, I brought my puppets along for today. I promised to bring them along. And they'll talk, they'll talk. This puppet is called the giraffe. And I learned, I got these puppets from the compassionate communication people. The giraffe was chosen as the symbol of our higher self, because a giraffe has uh, has a very tall neck and a high viewpoint, and the biggest heart of any land animal. So this is the voice of reason, the voice of our higher self, soul, um, the inner parent, if you would, if you wish. And this is the jackal that represents our negative self, our human self that that often wants to pull us down or argue with the with the giraffe. It can be a war between us that can pull us between wanting a breakthrough. It's time for a breakthrough. It's time for a change. No, I'm scared. We always, let's do it the way we've always done it. Why rock the boat? I don't, I'm afraid of change. But uh, we also need change. We feel bored or stagnant if we don't change or have a breakthrough. Things are not um, ideal in our life. We want to make some improvements. I don't know. They're not that bad. I think we can just hang out the way things are. We can put up with it. <laughs> That's what we've been doing. <laughs> and if we do what we've always done, we'll get what we've always gotten. So these are the two sides of us that often argue, right, together. So we're going to cover that. And welcome, Abelega. Glad to see you. And Tracy and Ty. Glad to see everybody. So if you would like a breakthrough, please type in yes. And <laughs> the other thing that reminds me of the cartoon, right? 
The guy says, okay, how many people want change? Everybody's hand shoots up. And he says, how many are willing to change? And nobody puts their hands up. So <laughs> who wants a breakthrough? <laughs> Type yes below. And then, if again, if you're willing to make a breakthrough, which takes courage, it's not within our comfort zone, you guys, <laughs> please type that yes to, and I want to acknowledge you all for that. So, thank you for your comments. Let me know that you're there. So, this is the conflict within us, right? The, the, the war between the two. The two. So, um, we say that we want to succeed, but what do we do? We actually... Uh, it, more than what we say, it's what we actually do. We say we say we want that, right? But like, like I'll use network marketing as an example, but it could be anything. We say we want to change, we want to succeed. But are you making the calls? Are you doing the personal growth work? Are you following up? Are you contacting the people? Are you signing them up? Are you training them? Are you attending um, your company conventions? Um, oh, Carol says a big yes, and Leah says, oh, yes, okay, right. Con awesome, congratulations. <laughs> Who doesn't want to break through, right? Because we're always pushing up against the ceiling of our next level, and it's natural that we want to grow, just the same as it's natural for a tree to want to grow. We don't want to put a ceiling on a tree, or if we do, it'll probably have to start, you know, it'll crimp, it'll crimp its growth. It doesn't like the ceiling. It wants to, it wants to stretch its limbs, and it wants to grow, and so do we. We don't feel so good when we say, I can tolerate that. I can tolerate this bad work situation. I can tolerate this bad marriage, rather than work on it or change myself or leave. Um, no, I'll just tolerate. I'll just put up with it. I'll just put my head down and, you know, try to try to numb out, <laughs> watch a lot of TV, <laughs> or whatever that we do. So um, that's tolerating. That's not really living life, is it? Having a breakthrough means facing whatever is there and making a change. They say a miracle is a change consciousness, and when we get uncomfortable enough, we we have to either go numb. To deal with it or um, some people opt out of life or we face ourselves and make a change and say you know I know I know which one's the more fun one <laughs> because of what's on the other side it's not fun it's not fun to face myself and face my fears and to get through them but it really really is fun on the other side what a great freedom that is so we say that we want to succeed but do we do the footwork do we do we um, I'll go through the ten things that are in our 10 core commitment class that Jeffrey David Gamble and I teach on Sunday nights tonight within our generic school for network marketers, the 10 core commitments. So the 10 core commitments have been proven decades. We're doing old school with new school adaption, but you can't fail with the old school, with the basics again and again. So we get these fa basic fundamental foundational basics again and again. To succeed, They've proven for decades in network marketers, to, in network marketing to produce top earners. So they, the the ten core commitments is be here a year from now. That means commitment. Well, first of all, is get started right, get the right training, and then be here a year from now, and then do your personal growth and development, and then market daily means contact people, and then present daily. Do your ten minute presentation for them, not send them to a video. You know, do your 10-minute presentation for them in person. We found that 70% of people don't watch the video, so we, we teach people how to do this and use the video as a backup third party of validation. But, okay, and number six is attend weekly presentations, like open houses, and bring people if you can, but at least attend them. And number seven is attend a weekly core training, which is what our class is. It's training on the 10 core commitments. And number eight is attend your monthly regionals, and number nine is attend all your company conventions, and number ten is have a monthly massive action plan. So, people say they want to succeed in network marketing. Are you doing each of these things? And if not, you are saying to yourself, and you're proving with your actions, that you really don't want to succeed. What we say with our mouth might be different than what we do with our actions. Right? Oh, this is a priority in my life. I want to build my network marketing business, or I want to succeed, or I want a better life, or I want better, I want more health, wealth, or love. <clears throat> but what we actually do is the real measure of our values. We vote with our actions, we vote with our time, how we spend our time, and we also vote with our money too. So if you look and see what you spend your time and your money on, that is your true values. 
So the other day somebody said, well, I thought that my marriage was my the top of the list for me or after my relationship with God. But if I look and see how much time I allot to everything, it comes down, you know, quite, quite below that. So I thought that was a really good and powerful observation. Look and see how you vote, how you spend your time, how you spend your money. Where, do, where does most of it go? Those are your values. That's your priorities and what's important to you. So a lot of people, you know, list your, list your priorities and your values. What, what's the most important? Some people put like, you know, God first and then family and then their work. They make sure their family's good and then they work. Even though they know that they need to work to support their family, they make sure that the family is okay before they go and, and build a business or something like that. Yes, bills have to be paid. So we have a job or steady stream of income while we build our business on the side. So we want to take care of food, shelter, water, and all of that. That's a priority, too. That's the foundation of the hierarchy of the pyramid of hierarchy of needs by a Abraham Maslow. We know that we have to take care of those before we can do other things, like um, contribute to life or, or have a family or social or then contribute to the world. And in that order, do it in that order. Because if you put it backward, like if you go and volunteer a lot, before the basic needs are met or before the family's needs are met. It's kind of backwards. So we want to have the basic foundation met and then go do those things. But look and see what you spend your time and your money on. Is it personal growth? You know, is it family? Is it spiritual growth? And ideally, after those survival needs are met, then you want to do the personal growth and the social interaction or start a family um, or you know, go out and enjoy friends. And then lastly, a lot of people, they want to change the world. They want to contribute some way to the world. And so let's do it in that order. But make sure that after your basic needs are met, that you are doing some sort of personal or spiritual growth work every day. That is a good investment on yourself. Are you spending money on that? As long as your basic needs are met and your, your bills are paid and all that, are you spending money on your personal growth? Uh, or do you have a coach? People who spend money with me make many, as a coach, spend many, many times that back in profits on their business. <laughs> I've helped people um, jump into six figures who couldn't before. Uh, the money, the person probably made about, oh, a hundred times back what they spent with me on um, as a result of doing our work on our business. So... Can you afford not to do your personal growth work? Can you afford not to have a coach or a mentor of some type and to burst forward? So um, welcome, Vicki. How are you? Okay. So anyone have a question along the line of breakthroughs or question of anything, go ahead and type that in. If anybody's gotten a takeaway so far, I'd love to hear that because that's, that lets me know what you value. And it also summarizes it for people who watch the video afterwards. So we love, I love your takeaways. Um, here's a little bit more about about having breakthroughs. Some people like to think about it more than do it. They like to read about it or do the personal growth work or study. Oh yes, I will study this. I will I will learn this um, more than stick their neck out and have a breakthrough. Now that's what a giraffe also is famous for is having a long neck and sticking their neck out, taking a risk. Being vulnerable, which means um, taking a risk in business, might be take a reasonable risk. You know, a giraffe will stick its, its, his neck out and take a reasonable risk. Not one that you can't afford, but take the risks in, in small succession. You know, stick your toe in the water. If that works good, put your whole foot in. If that works good, you know, up to your waist. And then if you feel like you can swim in that water, it's not too cold and it's not safe. So you take reasonable, successively increasing risks, not too great, and only you know what that is for you. But a giraffe will stick his neck out in business, <laughs> with a straight tongue, in business and in relationships. It, a giraffe symbolizes sticking his neck out in the form of being vulnerable and saying feelings and needs, rather than, um, oh, I don't need anything, or blame or criticism or demands. A giraffe speaks as far as observation, feelings, needs, and requests. It keeps the conversation clean and vulnerable, too, to let the other person know what's going on inside you. So you stick your neck out. There's sometimes when I feel like I need to protect myself or put a kind of a wall up, but that won't allow the person to get close to me. So that is what a giraffe is about, um, sticking your neck out versus, 
oh, um, I can't let them know me because what will they think of me? Um, with people that you feel safe with, it's okay. Go ahead, experiment with saying feelings and needs in your close personal relationships. And even in business, speak clearly what you need and request and want versus put up with things or, you know, withdraw or attack <laughs> or blame. So um, those are kind of what the, the puppets tell us today, the difference. John Bradshaw, inner child worker, um, wonderful psychologist, tells a story about codependence. <laughs> he says, you know, being in our head, it's a safe place to be instead of in our heart and sticking our head, neck out like the giraffe, because the giraffe has that biggest heart of any land animal. Um, sticking our neck out, um, making a change, taking a risk, being vulnerable, saying our feelings and needs. In a way, that would be like heaven on earth, right, to be able to do all this. But he said, this is what codependency is like. It's being in, in, it being in our head and not willing to be in our heart. And he said, codependence, there's, 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 two, there's two doors, two signs, right? And one door above it says heaven, and another door says lecture on heaven. He says, all the codependents are lined up behind the lecture on heaven. They say, let me, let me study about this thing before I go there, right? <laughs> they don't just want to go straight to heaven. They want to think about it <laughs> or read about it. <laughs> instead of actually doing it. And that's the way it is about a breakthrough. A lot of people will talk about it. Oh, I'm going to build my business. I'm going to be successful. I'm going to make a change. A lot of people will talk about it versus actually doing it. Put their money where their mouth is and say, yes, I'm going to join that network marketing business. I'm going to do the starter kit. I'm going to get a coach. I'm going to join this school. I'm going to get this book. I'm going to learn. Um, if, if you're not doing it, there's some sort of fear there. Because where are the values? What are the priorities? We remember we vote with our money, we vote with our time. And uh, a lot of people, yes, I will make the calls in my network marketing business, but they don't do it. They maybe watch TV or do something easier instead that's more entertaining or easier. Well, we vote with our time. So whatever that thing was, that's more important to you than your business, or else you would have voted with your time and done that thing. So very, very interesting. But... We don't just want to stay in our head. We want, to, we want to take the action. And what could stop you? Just ask yourself, what could stop me? What does stop me from taking that action? What am I scared of? What other people will think? Scared of, um, well, I, I can't succeed in my business because I don't have time. Because I'm scared if I did have time and I did do it, and people will say, well, you didn't succeed in it. Right? So check and see what is the fear. What is um, What could hold you back? from putting this into action and doing the calls, going to the meetings, bringing people, talking to people. What could it be? Could it be fear of um, you don't have the skills? Well, Jeff and I teach the skills in our school, and it's super affordable, you guys. It's only $25 a month. So we made it so that everybody could afford it. Should, it's a no-brainer for anybody interested in their business. Can afford that. That's, that's the price of you know, a few Starbucks a month, the price of, of going out to eat one or, one or two times, right? $25 a month. So you can get the, the best skills that I've ever seen anywhere in network marketing in our school. Uh, and I could, I'll post a link about why I think it's the best. But I don't want to get off topic today too much. But welcome, Spencer. Good to see you. So reasons we might be scared to make a breakthrough. We don't have the skills. We um, don't trust the, pro the process of life. We focused on ourselves and fear rather than on service. So those are, those are some of the main reasons. I do help people with that, by the way. Um, and uh, the jackal says, um, get the puppets out again. The jackal says, too risky. Don't, don't do that. That's too scary. What will people think? What if I fail? What if the people I talk to don't like me? What if I fall flat on my face? What if I'm no good at it? And the draft says, we will get the skills. We will, we will practice until we get good. We won't worry about what people think. We're going to worry more about helping people. As long as we're respectful and do it properly and don't spam them, then go ahead and offer the help to people that we have because we have something wonderful in network marketing, a better life for parents who want to be home with their kids, seniors who want a better retirement, people who want a better career. 
or uh, people with debt to pay off, especially students, and don't know another way to get out of it. We want to help these people. Yeah, but what if they say no? Well, most will. Most won't be ready for the help. Most are not ready for a, a better life, but we're going to find the ones who are. We're just going to keep talking to people because they're out there. We're not going to let the ones who are not ready stop us from contacting the ones who are. Well, okay, I guess if we get the skills and we have a little bit of help, yeah, and Bess and Jeff's school, um, you have a lot of help and support. So I'll put the link to that, okay? Okay, I'll take a look at it. <laughs> so, but people, I'm working with people all the time that have internal blocks, like they're told as a child, you can't do that, what's wrong with you? You'll never be able to do that. So that's the mindset part. And I work with people all the time, helping them have breakthroughs about that. If you have those, it's normal, It's it's uh, you're not alone, and they can be changed. All that programming can be changed. So, um, if fear stops you, or of any of these reasons, just imagine, what if you get to the end of your life, and you do not tackle the things that hold you back? How will that feel? Go to the end of your life. Never having done the dreams never having faced the fears, never having gotten the skills, never having made the change, never having given your family a better life, never having changed the world, built schools in Africa, bring drinking waters to third world countries that need it, um, that you did not do the dreams that you had of making this lifetime really, really count. How does that feel? Does that increase your motivation? to go ahead and face those fears and make a change. I hope so. Welcome, Kelly. Glad to see you. So, um, Kelly had just been talking about having breakthroughs versus having fear. And going ahead and doing things as you and Bob and Jacob know, you guys have helped people for years and years in your chiropractic work and in your network marketing business. Um, check out Kelly and Bob Rakowski. Um, they've helped people with nutrition and healing and chiropractic and, and speaking all over the world and raising wonderful children who uh, I got to work personally with their son Jacob. So you guys are all about service and people and helping people. Uh, but what I'm talking about now is, is how, Kelly, how did you get there? How did, I'm sure you had fears as you went along, right? You're reaching out to people, what would they think about, about me? Do you have anything you can share with us? Or even if you want to come on camera and speak, I'd love that. Um, let's see if I can... Um, let me know, Kelly, if you want to be invited on, and I can do that. Welcome, Shamala. Good to see you. So, everybody has these. Even the top earners, like Kelly, has fears. What has stopped them from... Um, shooting forward. Uh, don't think that you're different, that they just don't have the, the fears. Um, don't, don't realize that every single top earner had and actually still does face fears to, to reach their next level too. So um, if anyone has a tip about that, um, I'd love to share it with people. Okay, I promised to share with you my four-step self-help process to move from solution, from problem to solution minutes. And it's this, it's real conversations. It's a process that I evolved over 25 years ago when I observed how I took a situation or problem from, solution, from problem to solution real fast. And I noticed, hey, when I work with myself, my clients and students, it seems to go through these four steps. The four steps are, recognition of the problem or challenge. Number two, look at the emotions behind it. Number four, um, identify the needs, the unmet needs that are there because a problem is always a sign of an unmet need. And number five, solve that need or meet that need. Then the problem goes away. Magical. It can happen very fast. Not a lot of people, I don't know anyone else teaching this in psychology or in coaching or in counseling, uh, but it's very, very simple. The, the whole heart of it is we have to get good at recognizing our needs. So I created a chart with, for all these four steps, the problems that we might face, the emotions if in case we can't identify them, all the emotions, I listed those, and all the needs that we have as humans, I listed all those on the chart so that you can help to identify what you need and then the solution to the need. 
So let's say a person <clears throat> has that war going on within themselves, you know, the, yes, we want to break through and, and no, let's just stay the same and, and stay safe. So we take a look at these, at these four things. Let's walk this person through the real conversations. Uh, the problem might be that conflict within for the breakthrough, uh, uh, conflicting with the old. And the feeling might be anxiety, frustration, fear of going forward. And the need might be to deal with the fear, to know that it, it can be different for every person. It might The need could be skills or it could be mindset, those two things. Um, so let's say it's mindset, fear. Um, I'm scared what people will think of me. So the solution could be, in this case, the solution would be to know that you are valuable and lovable and respectable even if a person joins your business or not. And if you talk with them respectfully, then there's no reason for them to um, not like you. <laughs> and we teach... How to, Jeff and I teach how to do this in the correct way. So that would be a real quick um, example of the real conversations process. Problem, feeling, need, and meeting that need in a healthy way, in a good way. I have a, a link I will post below where you can get free tools on this. Worth $247 info product, but for you it's free. And it contains that chart that I mentioned and an audio which is a radio interview that shows you how to walk yourself through that chart. And then you get some emails that show you how to journal yourself through that chart. Hope this is of value to you. These are free tools that I'm offering. And for people who would like a little more help, I created a class called the Real Conversations Class. And we have that on Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And this is where people can hop on and get coached as a group. It's confidential, not recorded, and anonymous if you wish. You can use a different name if you wish to come on and uh, remain private. But you can be coached on any issue that you have. You can listen to others and learn from them and go forward as well. A lot of people do that. And you are invited. I will post that link to both of these, the tools and the class. This is what one um, attendee said of the class. I recently joined this Maria Miner that said this. Maria Miners. I recently joined Bess McCarty's Real Conversations class. I've done a lot of programs, classes, coaching, and therapy in my life. Yep, last night that she wrote this, I got a new understanding of the cause of my problem and what to do about it. I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised, wowed even, by the attention, insight, and the skilled coaching Bess gives to each and every student. She is sparkly and has a lot of depth. I'm absolutely certain that this investment will pay off in huge dividends. This investment of time and a little bit of money it costs, but it's, it's less money than, than private coaching is. Uh, which I offer too. So I offer these things, the free tools, the class, and the private coaching is what I offer for people, depending on how fast you want to go, how fast you want to have the breakthrough. So I thank you all for watching. And most of all, do you know someone who can use this? Would you tag them below? If you know a Facebook group who would benefit from this and could watch it as well, would you post that for everyone to benefit? Because I want to help as many people as I can. There's a lot of good here. People need it um, very, very much. <laughs> thank you for sharing. Uh, thank you for being on. Let's keep the conversation going. Questions, comments, tips, insights. Let's use this as a sharing potluck area. And um, that is so, Lisa, that, that is so true. Fear is our biggest obstacle. Most of people, including self, we suffer through fear without it without realizing it. Yeah, we don't even realize it. I'll tell you, once we do reach a level, there can be another one to, to go through too. And face it, um, nothing that could stop from becoming one of the best networkers or anything in life. So this really applies to all of life for sure. Thank you for that insight. Um, and anybody else have a tip? And go ahead and, and post it. We'll keep this conversation going. Thank you for being here. Um, Welcome to join back every Saturday and Sunday, noon Eastern time. Be part of the conversation. Send me a, a question if you'd like it to be addressed. We'll do that. The Ask Best video call on Saturday and Sunday, noon Eastern time. Thank you very much, everybody, for being here. Thank you for what you do in life. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for having the courage to face yourself and go forward and grow because people see it. It's a role model. Every time you lift up yourself, 
be lift up the whole world a little bit too. Okay, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. See you next time.